From the last video, you might remember that we said we were going to update FullCont and Teaser in the next two videos. So let's go ahead and update the full content view. Now, if you're not already here, it's simple to get to. Go to Structure, Content Types, and manage the display for the event's content type, and click on Full Content. Here are the fields in our full content layout and the order they're in and how the labels appear. Just as a reminder, let's go back and take a look at an event. Let's click on Drupal Camp Cincinnati. The body is at the top, the event website, date, topics, and of course the logo if we had one. So let's go ahead and clean these up a little bit, making our content look a little bit better. structure, content types, and let's manage the display for events, clicking on full content. All right. Well, event description is in the full mode. You know what? Let's drag that down below logo and let's hide the label for the logo. It's pretty obvious what it is. And let's change it from the original image to a medium size. This is an image style. We're going to talk more about image styles when we get to views. Suffice to say at this point, you're able to generate any size image in an image style that you want and then use it pretty much anywhere you want. Go ahead and click update. And so now our event logo will be on the left and it, because this theme floats the images to the left, the body will wrap around it. Let's put the event date label in line as well and let's change the format click on the gear over here on the right anytime you see a gear it's to configure something and we'll change this to the default long date and click update that's a little bit nicer event sponsors once again put that in line and you'll notice that its output is linked to the referenced entity so that if the Cincinnati user group is sponsoring Drupal Camp Cincinnati, that will be a link to the user group page, and that's pretty much what we want. And then event topics, because this is presented in a column, let's just leave that above, once again, linked to the reference entity. All right, I'm going to leave that on the screen for just a second. You might want to pause it. Just double check that yours looks like mine. All right, click Save. And let's take a look at one of our nodes in full view mode. I'm going to click on content and I'm going to find an event here. Now again, your names of the events and all the text will be very different. That's just because Devel uses lorem ipsum. So go ahead and click on any event here. And you should now see a layout that looks something like this. And indeed, that looks a lot better. The event website, event date, the sponsors, Oh, we've got a little bit of a problem here with event topics, but that's something we can clean up with some CSS. And there are links to the correct places. Well, so far so good. Let's update the full display for our user group content type. Click on Structure, Content Types, and click on User Groups Manage Display. Once again, we need to update our views. Scroll down, click Custom Display Settings, and choose Full Content. Once again, you can update any of these displays at will. Click Save and choose Full Content. And this is similar to what we just did with our events. Let's go ahead and put the group website above description. Put the site in line. Let's put the group contact and email together. Again, making both of those labels in line. One of the things I prefer is to leave the email as plain text rather than an email link. It drives me crazy. I don't use my default email program to send email. Most people don't anymore. So I prefer to leave this as plain text. Group experience level, we'll leave that above because that's going to be a list of all of the experience. And then finally, event sponsored, we'll leave that above as well. We'll leave it as the label. You'll note that we could just put the ID in here or render the entire entity, which would be crazy because then you'd have a whole bunch of event pages there. We'll leave it at the label and it's linked to the referenced entity 
in the Cincinnati user group, I can click the link to go to Drupal Camp Cincinnati. Go ahead and click Save, and let's check what we did. Click Content, and let's find a user group, and indeed the group website, the description, the contact information, again, that's what Devel does, and a contact email, once again, just fake, that's what Devel does first. The key thing here is it works. And the group experience level, once again, Devel has double selected something. We know that that can't happen in real life, so we're okay. And then once again, the event sponsored is Drupal Camp Cincinnati. So that's fantastic. This layout is as good as we can get it without adding any display or layout modules. All right, we've done the full content. Let's go ahead and update the teaser mode in the next video.